Hi, this is Jeff Howald. I wanted to talk to you and explain the purpose of the forward roll exercise video sessions and the benefits of using them. Think of these as an aerobic workout session for the right hand. A large portion of the beginners that I teach have difficulty at first with both timing and speed. The root cause of this is that they are playing songs that they have not memorized correctly at too fast a speed. The result is that their muscles are too tense, making it difficult to play fast. To solve the right hand part of this problem, we developed a series of forward roll exercise video sessions to let students increase speed gradually at a relaxing pace. We picked the forward roll because it accounts for approximately 70% of all the right hand movement in traditional banjo playing. These videos were tested over a four year period with groups of students and have produced amazing results. The lessons reinforce correct technique and timing and are much more interesting to play with than just a metronome. Students will see significant improvement in a short amount of time which will make their playing a lot more fun. As you are using these exercises, remember the three elements needed for success are as follows. First, learn the material you are going to play perfectly. In this case, it is not a problem because you are playing a simple forward roll. Second, relax. Don't think about or concentrate on speed. Let the process go at its own pace. Also be aware of your self-talk. Good self-talk would be saying and thinking things regarding your playing that are positive and result in relaxation. Note what you are thinking when your muscles are relaxed and you feel good and focus on those things. As you play faster, you will need to relax even more which will seem very unnatural at first. But this video will help you to get in touch with the mind-muscle connection and help you to concentrate on relaxing. Plan on spending about 80 to 90 percent of your practice time on repetitions at the slower speeds and 10 to 15 percent at your time at speeds near or beyond your limit. Number three, keep a diary or log of the speeds you are playing each day which will show your progress. This will let you see your success. Motivation and positive thinking and having fun are a big part of relaxing and making progress. Without a diary, you will have no idea of where you are. The two roles we will use in these exercises are the forward roll and the seven note forward roll, which are played as follows. Here is the forward roll. When playing the forward roll, we go in the order of thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, and it keeps on going like that. You can start on any finger. For example, you could start a forward roll with the index finger, which would be going index, or you could start with the middle finger. The forward rolls we'll use throughout the practice sessions generally will start with the thumb, like this. The second roll we will use is the seven note roll. The seven note roll is basically a forward roll where you start with the thumb and you play seven notes. So it goes like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then there's a pause. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pause. I'll do that one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The reason that we use a seven note roll is that the first note of each roll occurs on the downbeat or first note of each measure. And this makes it easy to keep track of where you are. The speed of each video is based on playing four notes on the banjo for each click of the metronome. The reference speeds for part one or session one are 20 to 55 beats per minute, which is considered slow. Part one is designed for someone who has never even held a banjo and will get you to a speed where you can play along with the banjo primer jam tracks. Part two has speeds from 45 to 80 beats per minute and will get you to the point where your playing starts to be automatic. Part three has speeds from 70 to 120 
and will get you to the point where you can play a forward role along with over 70% of all bluegrass recordings. We let you know the speeds of the videos so that you can reference other watch and learn products you will be able to play along with. We refer to the speeds on the Let's Jam products as reference speed. For example, once you reach a reference speed of 50, you will be able to play along with the first track of the Banjo Jam practice tracks, but not before. The metronome is set at various speeds during these videos that are sometimes twice and even four times the speed of the track. For this reason, we will announce and display the real or reference speed so that you always know how fast you are playing relative to other products. Most people like the plan and structure of these workout videos because they last for less than 30 minutes and give you a great workout. When playing with each video session, you will notice that there is time between each speed to relax. If you wish to do the entire workout with no pauses, you can burn the included MP3 tracks onto a CD and have a 20-minute audio continuous workout. We recommend that you work through the video several times before you use the continuous CD workout. Once you have increased your speed with these lessons, you can use this gradual method with the aid of a metronome to help you speed up other songs. In the future, we will have workout sessions focused on the left hand. Good luck. I hope you try the forward roll exercises and experience the success that my students have experienced.